Hello everyone, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy. It's September 2015 and this is one of our new product releases. We've got two new stamp sets from Darcy Wilkinson. Uh, this set is EDY15 and there's some really cool little words on there. Um, a wonderful wordy Christmas tree that could be used um, on its own as a quote inside a card or perhaps on the front of a card. And these great patchwork creations that she's done, a patchwork sort of a Santa with all sorts sorts of designs and patterns in there which really comes to life when you add colour to it. So let's take a look at a couple of samples from Darcy. Um, this one's using um, a couple of stamps from the other set which you'll see in a minute. She's got some baubles and then the stocking hanging there. She's actually stamped these onto fabric and they're a little bit puffy um, and coloured in all the detail. She's got a lovely snowy background that's quite textural down the bottom there. And here's that lovely Santa. Uh, on a nice mixed media background. Um, I do like the little touch of snow on the top of his hat there which really comes to life. She's put a very um, pearly effect finish on the top there. We'll take a look at some samples from some of the other designers which Darcy invited um, to take part. This one's from Lynn Moncrief and she's used tissue paper here on the um, to accent parts of the tree and a nice watery splattered background which is very soft and here again she's used the tree and this is just a, a lovely um, white background but again she's got a few little sparkly splatters on there using a mica spray dye spray now this one's much more um, soft blue tones lovely little bells on the bauble at the top here and again she's got the patchwork center and this one's in darker tones of green from Sue Carrington. And she's also used one of the stamps from the other plate, which you'll see in a minute, little Christmas trees down the bottom. And on this one here, Sue's got the Santa. She's kind of layered him a little bit, so there's um, some dimensional elements going on there with the scarf and the hat. Next up, we've got Trish Latimer. She's put the Christmas tree onto acetate. So that's quite cool because you can actually see through to her background. And these cool little strips of paper have just been wound into a circle and put together with a bit of wire at the side. And on this one here, she's got the three stockings in a row and um, layered those onto a small frame. This one's also from Trish Latimer and um, she's kind of finger painted her background on this, blurred the colours into each other, and then added the Santa on top. And then the last couple of samples we've got here are from Lauren Hatwell. Um, this one, I believe she's used air drying clay. And when you stamp into it, because you get the texture of the pattern in the background, it really kind of does look like um, fabric and much more dimensional. She's also put some glitter on the top of his hat, as she has in various other little places, so it's quite a sparkly little number. Very pretty. And then here we've got a snow angel. Right, we'll take a look at Darcy's other stamp set now. The stamp is EDY16, and here you can see the baubles which Darcy used in her sample earlier, and of course the Christmas trees across the bottom. Um, so there's quite a few different elements here that all layer up really well together and work perfectly with the other stamp set. Um, here's a few more samples from Darcy. So on this one, she's actually used the base of the tree from the other stamp set to create um, a sort of a stalk or a trunk for um, the flower. Great background here, and on this one is a lovely little tag. And again, she's used the Christmas tree stamp as a quote. And then got the flowers as embellishments. When you use this um, tree stamp in a repetitive fashion, of course you're gonna get a whole lot of trees. So she's used this in a landscape format, which works really well. And then that's the stars off the other plate. And she's got the quote dashing through the snow across the top there. Here's her reindeer, prancing reindeer. She's got some great texture going on at the top here with the um, icicles dripping down. So we'll move on to some of the other designers who have done bits and pieces. Now this is um, a fantastic decoration by Lynn Moncrief. 
double sided so she's used um, glossy accents or a really lovely shiny glaze on top of the flowers and then here she's got the reindeer lovely soft layer at the bottom of um, a paper which has got lovely little sort of snowflakes on a very thin mulberry type paper really delicate when she does it in those colors and here's a slightly brighter one and another reindeer and then in much bolder tones we've got this vase from Sue Carrington she's layered all these elements up so it's quite dimensional and another one using the baubles so great to see how everyone interprets the stamps so differently this one's from Trish Latimer so she's got the reindeer suspended on a piece of acetate inside that frame and again she's um, used a canvas which is quite popular at the moment using the inside of the canvas as to make a niche and she's really built up texture around the edge of the frame here And then we've got this amazing star from Lauren. So she's used the tree stamp around the edge there and then built up the flowers. And look, she's created another sort of petal layer using the bauble stamp. So that's that bauble there, which has been used as another layer with this layered on top and then a blingy centerpiece instead of the button. And then lastly, a card from Lauren. Again, using the reindeer, she's created a bit of shading with the oranges just to create a bit of dimension in there, a bit of depth. And quite a cool background using that circle stamp um, and joining that up. And then as ever, she always finishes the cards beautifully on the inside as well. So it's another fantastic release from Darcy. Um, don't forget that all of these stamps are now available from your favourite paper artsy stockist.